So now I want to talk about a cool feature inside all these snap-on scan tools. It's called PID Trigger. It's like a babysitter for your road test. So you can set a minimum and a maximum value, and if any of your data goes outside of that value, it'll automatically save it for you. So that way you don't have to keep watching your screen or have somebody else do a road test with you and keep an eye on your data. It'll do it for you. So let's look at how to set that up. All right, so I have some data recording here on the screen. I have the intake air temperature sensor up in a graph. <clears throat> I'm gonna make that a little easier to see, make it a little bigger. Now over here on the left hand side is a little wrench icon. So if I click that, I can go over and I can turn the triggers on and set a maximum and a minimum. So I'm gonna set this at four and a half volts and then click save. Now we'll see we have a maximum line and a minimum line that we have set up. And then we just have to hit this little camera icon down here on the bottom left to turn them on. That'll arm it. And I'll go over here, disconnect the sensor. And you can see now it goes above that maximum line. So watch what happens after it records a few frames worth of data. Like I said, it's a babysitter. You can set up how many frames it records after it as well. So I don't even have to look at it. There we go. Automatically after it recorded 10 more frames, it saved it for me. So I can just hit OK. And I can actually still go back to the data. And there will be a little green line in there that tells me where it's saved as well. So hands off once you have it set up and that should save you a lot of time and keep you safe when you're doing those road tests.